Okay. Now in the special curves we have seen cycloids. The second one is called involute. Okay. So basically this involute means you just uh, think about an, uh, uh, a pulley or a bunch of wire which is wound in a small uh, just an, a box. When you take it, that is when you unwound the wire, how does it come? For example, I have a, a, box, a regular box like this. In this I have structure of number of wires like this. When I want to pull the wire outside, I will be just holding on one point and just pulling out. Isn't it? I just pull it like this. It will come in a different way. Because the whole length of the wire is very big. But when you roll it in a small, uh, maybe in any place, it will become very short. The area will be very small. When you unwound it, the total area will be increasing. Is it not? So this is a curve which is called as involute. This kind of curve which starts with a small, very small, uh, I can say a, a radius or an arc, and then it keep on elaborating or increasing the radius and then finally comes to an end. Okay, That's where it's the involute. Now, uh, to draw a proper circle or involute, even it is it's not compulsory that we are doing involute only for a circular one. We can have involute for even a polygon also. So, for example, for a triangle, we can have involute. For a rectangle, as possible. For a hexagon, any side number of any number of sides, we can draw an involute curve. First, we'll see what is a circular involute. That is involute from a circle. So what I'll do, I'll just take an, uh, I'm, I'm not posing any question, I'm just giving an example of taking some diameter of a circle. Say for example, I take a 40 millimeter diameter of a circle. Fine. So I'll draw a 40 millimeter diameter. So the radius will be probably 20 millimeter, okay. So this is 20 millimeter, I'm just drawing a circle. So basically what you do, you divide this circle into any number of equal points, say for as per your convenience. If you take more number of uh, I mean the points, the divisions, the curve will be smooth as I said for previous you know you are uh, to construction in the cycloid as I told. The number of points are more means you will get a smooth curve. This is what the idea is. So I will draw just divide into 12 equal parts. Just divide into 12 equal points. So let it be this point I will take it as a starting point A, you know base point and then you take one point number one then you go for 2, this is 3, this would be 6, so this will be 9 and comes to 1. Is that fine? So you can draw it into any number of, divide into equal parts like this. Now what you do? Again, from this point A, we should uh, define a distance. That means uh, how long this particular wire or a string can be unwound. Is it not? I cannot say that it is unwound above after a particular distance because my total diameter is only 40 millimeter. I can roll a wire only to a maximum extent of 40 millimeter only. That means the circumference of the circle into that particular diameter which will be the maximum distance for this particular curve. What I mean to say from the base if you draw an horizontal line like this is it clear. So this length of this line would be, that means the other end of the point, the last point, maybe B, will be a distance of, I can say, this pi, that is circumference of circle into that 40 millimeter. Is that okay? So this is as in the case of what you did for cycloid or, or something else, whichever the baseline what we have drawn, hope you understand or remember the previous concept. The same thing, we are just multiplying the circumference value into the given diameter value and maybe taking the other point. This is, okay. Now, to draw the involute curve, what you have to do is, basically you have draw, when you just uh, find out the total value of this baseline, that is circumference of the circle, kindly divide this length of the line equal to this circle's division also. Because we are here, we have 12 divisions, say 1, 2, 3, etc. 12. Same equal number of divisions, we have to divide this line also. 
So I can say I'm not uh, actually drawing a 12 equal number dependence here because it's I'm drawing in a board. If you take a equal value of exactly 40 millimeter, the length of this baseline, etc., obviously you'll get a proper diagram. Okay, now what you do is starting from this point, okay, from the A point, you to start with this point one, this one, this two, three, etc., all these points. Okay, from A point you start drawing a tangent lines because this is, this is a curve, this starting point. Every point I can draw a tangent line, is it not? To that point I can draw a tangent. Whatever it is, you can make it like this. Like this it goes. Okay, I am not making an exact sketch because it is not possible because when you have a scale, you fix it in the particular point and draw a particular you know, perfect line becomes a proper tangent. So from your point, every equal point, you take a tangent line. Then what you do, fixing this point as, this is A actually, this is 1. You fix this radius, this point as O. Okay. Now, from this point 1, and this is my, so instead of taking this 1, 2, 3, etc. in the anti-clockwise direction, for my convenience, or for your convenience, you can go for a clockwise direction. I can take this 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. Now, this point to this point A and this is 1. You can just measure from point A, point 1 in the horizontal line and as 1 as center, just cut an arc in this tangent line. Is it clear? So, this horizontal line, we are divided into 12 equal parts and the circle also divided into again 12 equal parts. This point A is your starting point of that unwound wire I can say okay so this point this uh, I am just coming in the clockwise direction this point is fixed as 1 I can take this as 1 dash and this is 1 or 2 just to differentiate the notation okay so this one so fix A I mean 1 as center and you are from A to A1 I will say I will draw A1 so I will let it here A1 as radius and you are 1 as center, 1 dash as center, you know center, you are just cutting an arc in the, this tangent line, so it becomes 1. Then next is, this again, 1 A as a, a center again, A 2 as radius, go to point 2 and just cut a line here. Keep it goes on as it is, A 1, A 2 radius, A 3, A 4, etc. till the 12th point. So whatever you take it, the particular tangent line you keep on cut it, it, it would come like this, it goes like this, it is a common idea, so it keeps on increasing because you can visualize that this distance is first small, this bigger one, then bigger, then bigger and on and on, that you just cut it in this arc, so finally when you come, it goes like this and it comes like this, this would be your curve, I am not, again I am repeating, I am not making a proper curve, because it starts from here actually, it comes like this, from here. It is nothing but your unwinding or unwound wire taking out. A wire is already been rolled in a, say, a wooden box, that wire you are taking out, that trajectory is been shown here as an involute. That is the name called involute. Sir. So the, the, all these points, I can take this is 1, 1, say suppose this is 1 double dash, uh, 2 double dash, 3 double dash, etc. It will come the 12th point in the last. That is how you construct an involute. So the basic thing is, whatever the given diameter value, you are making a circle. The circle you divide into any number of points, maybe 8 or 12, but higher the point you divide, it's better, you know, you get a proper sketch. You know, the curve will be smooth because you are making a freehand sketch here. You are not, you know, using your scale or something else to draw this curve. You are you just practice it into different level, two or three times you practice, you will get a proper smooth curve. So this circle is given 12 equal points, this horizontal line also 12 equal points, before that this line's length, the value is circumference of the circle into the particular diameter, that is it. This is what the same case we had in previous cycle also. Then you, what you do, this point number A is your base, first point of unwinding, that point and from A to 1, you measure, from this point 1, you cut this tangent line, because every point you need to make a tangent. 
just hold a scale and draw a tangent for every lines and make the lines little bit you know lengthier so that these arcs you can identify easily it would come like this keeps on changing and finally you join it with say 1 2 3 etc it will come the 12 points last year. and fix it that's how you make a involute of a circle so like this this is circular one i can go for a triangle I can go for a square i can go for a pentagon also fine etc all this i can make it everything you just fix it okay so this is involute of a circle right fine now we had seen the involute in circles right now i just give an example of a polygon here okay so a polygon it may be of you can take a uh, rectangle uh, a square uh, triangle or uh, whatever it is you can make it okay so i just go for an example of a triangle it is a triangle of side see a circular uh, triangle of uh, side so 30 mm okay so this is the point now uh, what is the procedure is it's very simple just take point a this is b and this is c okay a b c points and you mark uh, just uh, is point a and point b and point c in anti clockwise direction after marking a b c anti clockwise direction you extend the sides just this this direction first and this is second and this would be at that direction that's it. okay now first point is this a to b is your side 30 mm fine this 30 mm from b a center this is your uh, you know radius you just mark this point that's all and you know to the next point what you do now this is 30 mm it's the same distance here second point you go for this distance again you are c a center okay and you are c to this point number 1 this is distance you mark a point here this becomes your point 2 okay and the third one with the last one is actually your your point a a center and a to this two point you make a point here the bigger one now just make an curve say free hand sketch you are not using any compass anything this free hand sketch from here you make it like this we come like this that's it okay very simple that you mark points this is one point second point and this is third point so likewise for any kind of polygon the triangle you go for square you go for uh, rectangle pentagon pentagon hexagon etc all this we just make a polygon only thing is this side is that side you are measuring and you extend the edges whatever the sides to a long line and you measure that and finish that is a very simple a circle or any kind of polygon is normally a usual question in your tests or in the examinations now so what we have seen i just refresh uh, from the beginning in the first unit it starts with the conics or i can say a curves starting with uh, we have seen uh, basically ellipse then parabola then we have seen hyperbola all this for your curves then you have come to special curves that is a cycloid then it is involute is these things that is the first part of your unit number 